Hello everybody, it's Richard here, storyteller to the libraries, and I'm here again to tell you another story, this time in honour of the festival of Navratri. It's a festival which almost always is centred on a goddess or several goddesses who could be seen to be the faces of one goddess. And I have made a special story in which three goddesses appear, but I will explain it when we get to it inside the story. So I'm gonna tell you the story first and then afterwards I'm going to come back and explain to you how I made this story because I think you could use the same method to make a great story of your own. So let's start, let's begin with a story. Once there was a pond. It was filled with the most beautiful, pure water and trees grew around the pond and the sun shone on it every morning as it rose up from behind the mountains. Now, there were some animals who lived around that pond. There were some parrots, a frog and a crocodile. And every morning, they argued with each other. The crocodile would say, oh, parrots, you're squawking. It, it's awful. It, it wakes me up in the morning. And the frog would say, crocodile, whenever I jump into the water, you try and catch me and eat me. And the parrots say, well, whenever we try and wash our wings in the water, you two try and splash us. They argued, they argued, they argued. But one morning, something different happened because it started to snow. There was snow for the first time. The water was so cold, the crocodile and the frog jumped out and the trees were so bare. The parrots hopped down to the ground and they looked at one another. Oh, what's this? said the frog. Oh, said the crocodile, this is awful. And the frog said, well, can you see where the snow is coming from? It's coming from those mountains over there. We've got to go to those mountains and make it stop. Go to those mountains, said the crocodile. How are we going to get to those mountains? They're miles away. And then the parrot said, well, if you want, we can carry you there. You see that branch? You stand on the branch and we'll hold it in our beaks and we'll carry you up into the sky. Yes, said the frog. Let's do that. And the frog jumped onto the branch, mm, said the crocodile. Well, all right then. And the crocodile held onto the branch and then parrots picked the branch up and began to fly. Whoa, said the frog, <laughs> said the crocodile. Whoa, said the frog, look, we're getting close to the mountains, <laughs> said the crocodile. Whoa, said the frog, we've landed on the mountains, and they had. The parrots were exhausted and the crocodile looked around and said, oh, can you see over there? There's a cave. And they all looked. There was a cave, a dark, deep cave. And the frog said, let's go inside. And the animals went inside the cave and the cave was filled with purple light. The animals were amazed. Everywhere there was purple and inside that light, suddenly they saw someone. Do you know who it was? It was a goddess. And her name? Do you know it? It's Sarasvati. And the animals gazed at her. And she played music that filled the cave. 
And she said, you have done well. Remember, if you want to achieve anything, you have to practice, you have to work hard. Remember that. The animals nodded and suddenly she was gone. And then the cave filled with gold light, shimmering, dancing golden light. And in that light, there was a, a goddess. Do you know her name? It was Lakshmi. And the animals gazed at the gold and the shimmering. It was so bright and brilliant and Lakshmi said, you have done well. Remember, when you do anything, you need a bit of good fortune and I will bring it to you. And the animals gazed at her and suddenly she was gone. And then the cave filled with flickering fiery light that sent shadows dancing on the walls of the cave. And in that light, as the animals watched, there were two eyes. It was a goddess. Do you know her name? It was Durga. And the animals were so scared, they shouted, run, run. And they ran straight out of the cave and they ran straight off the mountain and they fell into the air and they started to fall. Whoa, whoa. And they were falling and falling. Whoa, whoa. And they were falling and falling. Splash. They fell into the pond. The frog bounced up, the crocodile wallowed down, the parrots flew to the trees, and then they realised the snow has gone, the ice has gone. And then they looked at each other. And the frog said, let's work together. Oh, yes, said the crocodile. Let's do something together. Um, what, 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 what can we do? And the parrot said, let us make a garden. And that is what they did. The parrots went and found seeds and the frog dug and planted the seeds and the crocodile watered the seeds and soon the garden started to grow. Everywhere there were beautiful flowers. On the trees, there were sweet, many colored fruit. And every morning they woke up surrounded by beauty and the crocodile smiled and said, oh, parrots, I love to hear your squawking in the morning. And the frog jumped onto the crocodile's back and the parrots flew down and bathed their wings in the pond and they were so happy. They never forgot the three goddesses in the cave who had taught them that you must work hard and practice, that you need some good luck and that you can achieve anything if you are determined and if you work together. And that is the end of the story. Well, that's my little story. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it up and I enjoyed telling it. And I was going to explain how I made it. Well, I built up scenes for the story using different pictures. And as I was making the scenes, I started to think up the story at the same time. I didn't start with a story. I allowed the story to come into my imagination as I played with the different pictures to create scenes. You can do the same thing. Find some pictures or draw your own pictures and then build up little scenes and then build up a, another scene and then another and then weave a story through those scenes. It's a lovely way to make a story. And then you can use your pictures to tell the story. Well, that's the end of my presentation today. I hope that 
somewhere down the road we're going to meet in an actual library and tell stories and listen to stories again and until we do meet again thank you for listening and goodbye